Well, guys, I'm just Jim Shave. Yep. Managed to cram another one in uh, here in Italy. Uh, I was in the town of San, uh, San Remo today, uh, not too far from here. And uh, I was walking on the high street there in a beautiful, beautiful city centre. Really historic, fine, grandiose buildings. But I uh, came across this shop. I noticed it saw lots and lots of knives, thousands of knives, scissors. And I saw lots and lots of shaving mirrors in the, in the window. So off a pops, goes over, sure enough, there's all these D safety razors, uh, some shavettes in the window, what have you. And uh, I saw the Mikio Future in the window. Never seen one in the flesh before, only ever seen it on YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Amazon, that type of thing. First time I've seen one in the flesh. So there it is. But uh, I went into the shop, oh, the tiniest, oldest lady I've ever seen in my life. She must have been, if I said she was 100, I don't think I'd be exaggerating. She was very, very thin, uh, painfully thin, very tiny, very fragile, had a moustache, bears on the chin, no bowled, and uh, I thought, this is this is a crazy shot for a, a little old lady to be running. It's, uh, then I noticed up on the wall and Picture of an old man with 2021, so ah, uh, so it was her husband's business, obviously. Like, and he's passed on, and she's trying to keep things on. So, I had to buy the razor, didn't I? I did, yeah. I had to buy the razor, and there was other razors there, but I managed to uh, refrain. So, but what we said this the McCure Future was like it's 129 grams in weight, I think it's it's over 100 uh, millimeters in length, I think it's about. 111 if, uh, if, uh, if a memory serves and this is the satin finish by all means a new invention it's been around for quite a long time now but uh, I've never used one before so uh, just got the blade here bit of a nautical theme here I've got soap I've got John Paul Jones from the Her Heritage Hill Shave Company John Paul Jones he up to the Americans bit of a bad boy for the British Pirate, father of the US Navy, yep, he was a naughty boy if you were British, but he was British, but uh, turns out. So, John Paul Jones, Bay Run, Teakwood, beautiful scent, one of my favourites. My aftershave, that's going to be the Gillette, Revitalising Sea Mist, Sea Mist. So, we're sticking with blue, keeping a nautical theme. Brushing I'm using is the Arky Atlantic. Beautiful brush, nice big brush, black knot, boot off And a blade, I'm going to be in here. Yeah, I'm saying with a blue theme, Big Ben, Big Ben. So I'm just going to quickly pop the blade in now. I'll go away, lava up, and pop back. So the top just flips off, clips off the top of the razor as so. Never done this before, first housing with this razor. And I'm doing it all cock handed and I can't even get the Big Ben blade off the paper. So I'm just going to sit the Big Ben over the tops like so. I don't even see that really. I'm just going to get the top cap and press it on until she clicks. And there we have it. It's That's looking a bit... Ah, there we go. It was looking a bit cockeyed. There's a lesson. Never do use this razor for the first time. Make sure that the caps clicked fully home. Because you'll cut yourself. It'll be like a plane. So there we go. There's the master blade show. It's good enough set in one. All the edges are there. there. Turn the handle. And that ramps the razor up. This is it on second six. Just look at that blade gap. That's ferocious. I'm not using that blade gap today. No. I'm going to, because it's a new razor and I've no experience on it, I'm going to go down to, I'm going to start on the 3.5. So as I say, I'm going to go away, whip up the lava, I'll be back. Catch you soon. Hello chaps, welcome back. So uh, there's the lava whipped up in my Chinese soup bowl. That's so bay run forward, it really is. Oh, that tea, the tea just mixes it nicely in the background. Bay rum tea wood. Very nice indeed. No mucking around. Very masculine. Yeah, I do like it. Now, 
I always like to be a bit transparent, and if something's been sent to me for free, I like to say that soap was sent to me for free. Only because I was unhappy with a previous product, so it was sent to me for free. Reasons of transparency. Okay, I'm just gonna wet the whiskers, it is a cold water shave. I have been asked before, if I do a cold water shave, do I go in the water with cold water? Well, yeah, I do. Well, not freezing, but icy cold. But at best, it'd be tepid, but uh, not icy cold, that's the main thing. Not too keen on head shaving really cold water because it's, uh, it's like slapping a, a wet fish over your head. Oh. Yeah, so here we go. Nice big brush, perfect for head shaving. I don't know if you noticed, but yeah. I had you. Well, it feels light, fluffy. Slurp those bristles now. So I ain't never used the Mikure Fusion before. See if others use it. My impressions, well, I don't think it's a razor for chumps. I don't think it's, when I say that, I mean, I think you should be used to shaving before using it because uh, I think it is a heavyweight better kit and it could, uh, it does have the potential to be quite aggressive, I would say, especially on that higher setting. And uh, say, I've been doing this for years, so I have no intention of uh, starting off on those higher settings, if ever, if I ever will. So there's the little line there. Three point five. See the little dots for the numbers, halfway increments. That's where we are. Okay. Oh, Let's go in. Point of balance of the razor. It's in this uh, rebate here. Perfect balance there. I wouldn't try hold it anywhere else. And now on this three point three. That feels pretty damn uh, aggressive. I would say, to me, 3.3, .3, just above medium aggression. Of course, in this game, that doesn't mean you'll experience the same. my opinion. For what it's worth. I'm getting under the nose here. Dirty grey tap on this razor. Not easy. But those whiskers right under the nostrils, I'll get them on the across the grain pass. Just listen to that. And these huge lava channels on this razor. Okay, I said it's got the potential to do a harm if uh, you're not careful. It does, but I'm not scared of it. I'm actually really enjoying it. I love shaving with a brand new razor. Especially when you know it's not an entry level razor, when it has the potential to be a beast. I find it so much fun, you have to think more about the shave. Never let a big head be a problem. For a big
bigger role in my life. It's on YouTube. Of this Big Ben blade is a really nice blade. So I'm shaving the wrong way here. I am. I should be shaving down. Silly boy. So I've got the sense, this bagel of sense, it's filling this bathroom. Great. Okay, I'm going to leave it on there. It's three and a half across the grade. Well, that feels quite good to me. Well, when I get home from this job, I'm hoping my uh, Broman razor has been delivered. Got it ordered mainly for head shaving. There has been some problems with delivery and uh, what have you. But uh, from the latest email confirmation, it's been sent out to the people who placed the, uh, oh, well, who were first order. So hopefully, I think I ordered quite early, hopefully that will be there when I get home. And if that's not there, I'm hoping my uh, Feather Article Blades have arrived so I can uh, have a play with my uh, Feather Article Clone, which I'm quite looking forward to. I also get home with a bit of a growth on me. Nothing like a straight edge when you've got a nice heavy growth. Okay, that's cross the grain. I hope you're doing well thus far this week. Having a good time. And all looking forward to the upcoming weekend. I'll be driving a thousand miles this weekend, so yeah. <laughs> I'm not particularly looking forward to it, as I'm sure you can imagine. Well, it's got to be done. Otherwise, we'll never go on. Ankles full of mosquito bites. I thought I was going to get away with that this week. Certainly not. Loving it guys, I am, I'm loving this raisin. He says, wiping a little weeper from his chin. So much chin stretching. Excuses, excuses again, Jim. God, I'll tell you how smooth it is on there. It really is. Excellent, excellent. Uh, against the going pass, what do you reckon? I think I'll drop down to a three. Let's say, no, I'll drop down even lower because I'm unsure of the razor. I don't know what it's going to do. All right, there we go. 2.5. Don't know how the razor's going to perform, so uh, I don't want to give myself 
Lord will leave us at the last minute, Lord. This child's getting enough blood, thank you. In fact, in the, some of the blood has been shed on this child. <laughs> I'm surprised the Facebook filters <laughs> haven't got hold of it. Mutilation. No, I don't like these filters. They're absolutely nuts. I've not used this soap for a while, but I'm so loving that sense. Very nice indeed. Okay, this is it, against the grain, little Japanese flag on the chin, oh listen to that, wow, that's definitely scraping bare toes isn't it? Jen's BBS. So the lip. So the lip. Doing well around the muzzle so far. Okay. Up the side. Awesome audio. Awesome audio. Great. I think these settings are quite perfect. Yes, what a wee bear. What a tiny one. The first time when you raise her. Give that break. Yeah. What a great neck shaver. It really is. Okay. Cold water rinse. Shaving my mate, being in, taking me back to ours. So I've had to uh, shower using a little tiny hand towel. I'm also having to uh, use the shaver. So I just have to go down to the research and meet all and say, hey, what the heck is going on in this hotel? Okay, Hall. Oh. And they will say, oh, me no understand. Enjoyed that guys, I did. I uh totally BBS nice post shave feel and uh, that was such a smooth shave. Uh honest I, I really expected it to be well I suppose if I took it up, crank the settings right up, which I suppose I will have to do at one time, not on camera, but uh yeah, I suppose when, when you ramp it up a few notches, so the eye settings, I suppose it does have the uh, potential to be to be a beast. But certainly, I know settings I just used here. Mm, perfect, perfect. Absolutely perfect. It was so smooth, I really enjoyed it. Okay, the Gillette Revitalizing Aftershave Splash Sea Mist. 
Oh, it's quite apt having a nautical theme where I am here on the uh, Italian Riviera. Oh, that just smells of like a melon. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. I liked that one. I liked that one, but uh, I'm sure you can tell. Okay, there we have it. Quick recap. Raise his name, start on his show, on his very first use with me, well, with anybody, it's brand new, that's the Cure Future from Sonnen in Germany. In there, the blade was a big bend. So for today was the uh, Heritage Hill Shave Company, John Paul Jones, John Paul Jones, Bay Run Antique Hood. Very, very nice. That was ripped up with my Yorkie Oceans uh, shaving brush. Synthetic, 28 millimeters of memory serves. That was all whipped up with my Chinese soup bowl. And nicely finished off with the Gillette aftershave splash sea mist. So there we go. That was a cracker shave. I'm glad you came along, I'm glad you saw it. Uh, glad to share it with you. Thanks for all the recent, recent likes, comments, subscriptions. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys, stay safe. If we don't see you before the weekend, have a cracking weekend. I'll see you further down the line. Bye bye now.